What's up, everybody? I am leaving work. I'm doing this 30-day challenge, kind of a marketing, sales, communication challenge, and they're doing a bunch of Facebook Lives and stuff, and they always wait 30 seconds before they start talking, like, awkwardly. Not really awkward. I guess he, like, drums, and you know that he's, or hums, and you know that he's just killing time, but I checked the timestamp today, and they wait for 30 seconds to start their main content, so that's pretty interesting to see how they do that. I'm sure there's a reason why they do that. So maybe I should just talk randomly for 30 seconds until some people sign on. Julia, what is up? How are you? Are you still living in Tennessee? Comment and let me know. Headed home from work. I actually shot two. So I, I've been saying for a while that I was going to move these over to our fb.com slash Jim Jess Baker page. And today on the way here, I shot one and it was horrible. And so I deleted it. <laughs> there was also an ambulance coming behind me. So there was a lot of like dead time of me like trying to figure out how to get over and everything. So I deleted that one and then I started another one and no one was checking in and watching it. So I talked for a while and was really just stumbling over my words and I deleted that one too. And then I thought, why am I doing this over there on that page? I appreciate everyone that has taken the time to like that page, fb.com slash the Jim Jess Baker. I appreciate you guys that took that big step of moving over there and liking that page. That's a huge step to get people to do that. So we've had about 100 likes over there. So thank you to everyone that's done that. I've kind of asked in a bunch of different venues for people to do that. And we've got 100 people to take action on that. Thank you. But even though I said I was going to do that, moving these videos over there, I don't think I am because why should I produce content for one eighteenth of the amount of people that might see it over there. So I think I'm just gonna keep shooting them here because I've been doing this for a couple months now maybe. And I'm sure that if people are annoyed by it, they've already unfollowed me. So if you're sticking with me, thanks for sticking with me. Julia, thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate you. Julia, I met Julia in Am I allowed to say the country that I met you in? I don't know if I am. On my DTS outreach, I met Julia in a closed nation where she was a missionary. And she's now back in Tennessee, where we just moved from. So, all right, I didn't, I didn't say it. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. So today's topic or thought that I've had is plan your dreams on your bad days. So I don't know if people experience life as extremely as I do, but I, when I feel good, I feel great. And when I don't feel good, I do not feel good. And I think reading that book, Habits of a Happy Brain, talked about all those four brain chemicals that help you to feel good. I think that's helped me just with understanding and stuff like that. So this morning I got up, alarm went off at 4, got up at 4.30 doing this 30-day challenge, which is a ton of fun. It's something new and kind of puts you in dream mode. I love dreaming about the future. So I feel real good about that. Kim Walker's book came out today, and I, I'm about halfway through it. I usually listen to books super fast, but for some reason I wanted to slow it down. So I only got through half of her book today, and I'm really enjoying it really, really enjoying it. Just talking about the presence of God. Bethel just really does a good job of putting intimacy with the Lord and his presence on display. So I appreciate that and I need that in my life. So I was feeling great this morning and yesterday Jess and I got to connect and hang out and have a meeting without our kid. Uh, thank you Inga for doing that. YWAM has graciously given us a nanny so that we can both focus on our jobs, which is a huge, 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 huge blessing. Like, super blessing. It's amazing. So thank you, Inga, if you're watching this. I appreciate you doing that. And yesterday we were able to connect, and I just feel like we're, I'm in this season. I feel the best that I've ever felt in my life, which is amazing. And I just feel like God just keeps showing me dreams. Whoa, do you have a stop sign? 
Sorry, I almost just got hit. Not really, it wasn't that close. I'm being dramatic. So, rambling here, sorry. I feel like in this season, God is really revealing future stuff to me, showing me dreams and showing me their possibilities. But it's going to require a lot of hard work. And it's going to require that I grow and mature. Tom Bauer came and spoke at our church this past week, talking about he's the founder, co-founder of Surfing the Nations. He also planted YWAM Maui, which I did not know. And this guy is a total inspiration to me. He turned 70 this year, and he's still just getting after it for the Lord. And he said something that he asks his interns is, do you think life gets easier or harder when you get married? And he said, it gets harder. And do you think life gets easier or harder when you have kids? It gets harder. And so he just said, what's the, what's the fun or fun of that? You know, what's the purpose of that if life just continually gets harder? And he just said, maturity is the point of that, that we have to mature. We have to choose to grow as we advance in life, that we really have to make that choice to mature. And so I feel like God has really made it clear in my heart that I need to grow in some areas for me to walk in the things that he wants for me. To walk in the fullness of my calling requires me to grow in a lot of areas, grow in character, grow in, in a ton of things. So I don't know. I was just thinking about dreaming. It feels good to dream, but to achieve your dreams requires a ton of hard work. And it'll be interesting to know what it feels like to achieve some of those dreams. I wonder if achieving your dreams is like a hundred times better than just staying in dream mode. But to do that, you've got to do that hard work. So I read David Goggins' book, I think at the end of this, at the end of last year. And he talks about how we always are dreaming from the comfort of our couch. I think he was talking about it in terms of exercise or something like that. He's just like, man, everybody says that they're going to, you know, run a marathon or do an Ironman. And they're always thinking of that from the comfort of their air conditioned home and on their couch watching TV and that we always set our dreams from a comfortable place. So this morning I was feeling great and I don't know what, what happens if it's just brain chemicals, if it's caffeine wearing off, if it's just natural things throughout the day. Uh, around lunchtime, I just felt like my mood really tanked. I just kind of got a headache. So some of my tips for that I want to talk about, but also let me know if you feel like you have extreme drops in, is that considered mood, emotions, how you're feeling? I, I don't know if other people experience things as, stream, as extremely as I do, but when I'm in that dream stage and dream mode, it's it's awesome. Those happy brain chemicals are, are pretty awesome. And then when you come down off of those, it's pretty intense. So that's awesome. Julia, thanks for commenting. And I'm glad that you are living the dream and also that you want to dream more. I'm excited about that. Let's, let's chat here after this chat or soon. And, and let's talk a little bit more about that, Julia. Um, yeah, comment and let me know if you guys experience throughout the day like having a really good mood and then having a really like not good mood and I don't even know if mood's the right word for that there I, I hopefully you understand what I'm saying and I don't know if it's just caffeine wearing off if it's just a natural cycle of your of your body or what but some of the things that I try to do to battle these kind of uh going from feeling good to feeling bad is stay hydrated. If I start feeling not good, I just go chug some water. Maybe I'm dehydrated. I will go and drink some caffeine because caffeine always helps me feel better. But the problem with that is you've got to make sure that you're not getting over caffeinated. So if you feel good on caffeine, you got to know when to, when to stop. And that's difficult because when I feel good, I just want to feel even better than good. And so I'm just like, if caffeine's made me feel this good, it can only get better. But that is not true at all. So you've got to be careful with your caffeine intake. Sometimes I overdo it. I was feeling real good. And it must have been obvious to Jess this morning because she came out and was just like, I think she tried to pour herself a cup of coffee from the French press and I don't think there was anything left. And so she's just like, are you jazzed because you drank a whole pot of coffee already? So 
actually had a glass there that I hadn't drank yet, so I gave that to her. But I was, I was feeling amazing this morning. Just dreaming about the future and the good things that could be in store. But we can't dream from that place because there are there's hard work ahead for that dreams. But I am talking about tips to battle your low moods. So hydration is one of them. Caffeine's another one if you're not over-caffeinated. Another thought that I had, I'm pretty random tonight. Another thought that I had is... Tonight? Last night I had this thought was freedom is hard to manage. It's that whole caffeine thing, right? If you're feeling good, I just want to feel better. But it doesn't always work that way. And having the free freedom to choose how you do things, it's hard to manage. You have to really be mature. We were talking about maturity earlier. You have to be mature and walk in wisdom to choose wisely, to manage your freedom wisely. So that's what I've been thinking about is that freedom is hard to manage. I don't I don't know why God chose to give us freedom. I do know why, because there is no love without freedom. There is no love without choice. But it is hard to manage. So what else do I do if I am feeling like junk and trying to get back on track to feeling good? I really a lot of times in my head have wished that I could just consistently feel good like that. And I don't even know if that's a possibility. Maybe it's a possibility. Maybe it's not. Pat Tomlin, hello. Good to see you. Thank you for watching. Are you in Asia right now or where are you? Comment and let me know where you are. We're talking about what to do when your mood is not where, where you want it to be. What are some tips that you can do to to take better control of that. So something else I do is luckily in Hawaii, where I'm living right now, it's beautiful every day. Right now it's 81 degrees, it is 5.35. I'm driving home from work. And yeah, it's beautiful here. So something I'll do if I'm just not feeling it is I will try to get outside and stare at the sun with my eyes closed. Obviously you don't wanna stare at the sun with your eyes open, that's not good for you but I will just try to get all of that vitamin D and I think it just signals your brain to wake up as well. And I've heard about this thing called grounding. I don't know how much stock I put into it and if it's a little weird or new agey or hippie, but I do it. I just take my shoes off, and which isn't hard in Hawaii either because you're always wearing slippers or flip flops. And so, man, this little merge is horrible. And so I just try to stand out in the grass and soak up some of that vitamin D, which is, is good for me, and I, I feel good doing that as well. The whole grounding thing is interesting. I think the concept behind that is that there's electromagnetic poles in the ground, and because we're always wearing shoes or inside, that we never get connected with that, and we never get grounded. I don't know. I don't know. But name one barefoot person that you know that isn't always happy. So that's an interesting thought, right? All the people that I know that walk around barefoot all the time are super happy people. Interesting. It's totally anecdotal. All right, what are some other things? So if I'm standing outside, I just try to stretch, try to move around a little bit, get loosened up. Cold showers, that certainly wakes you up. There's also this Wim Hof breathing technique where you pretty much just hyperventilate and just getting oxygen into your blood is good. Probably if I did some jumping jacks that would do the same exact thing as well. Just getting your blood flowing. I think that's all cold showers do too. Jumping in the ocean is always great as well. But a cold shower is great too. Cold showers are funny because here in Honolulu the cold water is 70 degrees which isn't that cold. I was talking to my buddy Tim the other day and just asked him to measure his cold water tap temperature and he's in Michigan and he said it was 40 degrees so that's a 30 degree difference cold showers in Michigan are way 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 colder than here in Honolulu so it'll be interesting next time I'm on the mainland if I take a cold shower to see how stunningly cold it is but that is just nice to drop your body temperature a little bit and even 70 degrees feels cool and that initial blast of that temperature change usually makes you gasp 
so I'm sure just kind of shocking your system and getting your blood flowing helps you feel a little better so also music I'm just trying to trying to listen to good upbeat music as well that's helpful so those are some of my tips to kind of battle low moods and I'm just trying to take control over those and not wallow in those and again mood sounds just a, a weird thing so let me know if you have kind of that exchange of of mood I don't know what else what other word to use throughout the day or if that's just me it might just be me but I'm trying to get after it and stay steady and stay stay motivated and working even though I am facing some of those lower moods on a, on a daily basis not every day but today I definitely felt it the high of the morning coffee and productivity to the afternoon kind of slump I think everybody feels that afternoon slump so Julie I appreciate you writing and commenting stuff I cannot read that right now but I will definitely check that out once I am home so those are my thoughts make sure that you're accounting for hard days when you're dreaming I believe that what you were created for and the dream that God has for you, the calling that God has on your life requires lots of hard work, and we've got to keep that in account. I think that we love dreaming because we're, we're seeing the future outcome, but we're doing it from the comfort of our couch. And for that to actually become reality, there's a lot of conflict, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears that have to get dealt out so that you can achieve what God has for you. So I'm excited. I am super excited about this next decade of life. It's interesting to think back on the past decade. I might shoot another Facebook Live tomorrow and just reflect on the last decade of my life. And I, I'm super excited for the next 10 years of my life. I think really good things are in store and I'm excited about it. So thanks for journeying with me, friends. Julia, let's catch up a little bit more. Send me a direct message and let's catch up and I'll make sure to watch these or look at these comments when I get home. Thank you for taking some time to watch and I'm excited to catch up. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching this whenever you are gonna watch it. And I think I'm just gonna keep shooting these Facebook Lives here because I get more interaction here. So if you want to see some of the Instagram stuff I am posting, you can either follow us on Instagram at Jim Jess Baker or uh, the Instagram posts to our Facebook page, fb.com slash the, the Jim Jess Baker. You can go ahead and like that page as well, fb.com slash the Jim Jess Baker. And I am working on compiling these all on a YouTube channel. So I'll probably release that here pretty soon as well if you wanna go look through some of these past videos thinking about experimenting with some IGTV as well, but maybe not as well. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So good things are in store. Pray for us. I think God has really big plans and good things in store that he wants us to accomplish. I think he's showing us glimpses of that, but I think we really got to step up to the plate and do some intentional growing. So pray for us in that process of intentional growing. I just dodged a deflated truck tire. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much.